Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. I used to be anonymous, a nothing, a non-entity. Olive. That's your name, right? Yeah. Uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So here it is, part one. Do you want to go out with me? Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were gay. You said I should pretend to be straight. I didn't mean with me. I am tormented every day at school. Just one good imaginary fling. Which brings us to part two. You set Olive with Brandon? No grunt and make it convincing. Oh. You ready for the grand finale? Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. What's up? Yeah. I always thought that pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more special. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. Brandon told me what you did for him. No, he told me the truth. I was just hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. So whether I liked it or not, I was open for business. 20% off to Bath and Body Works? Is that how much our imaginary trust meant to you? I fake rocked your world. We need to pray for her, but we also need to get her the hell out of here. Amen. Amen. On Monday, things took a turn for the scandalous. Screw all these people, Olive. Ironically, we were studying the Scarlet Letter. This girl named Hester Prynne has an affair with the minister, is besmirched, and made to wear a red A for adulterer. Perhaps you should embroider a red A on your wardrobe. I'm not proud of this. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please. No judgment, but you kind of look like a stripper. Mom. A high-end stripper for governors or athletes. Is she the one everyone's talking about? Yes. I know exactly what you're doing. If I promise not to tell anyone, could I kiss you right now? I had a similar situation when I was your age. I had a horrible reputation. Why? Because I slept with a whole bunch of people, mostly guys. Mom! There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise.